Hi everyone. In this short video, I will go over the new buttons that have been added in version 153. The first button is the switch between classic and pure. In previous versions, we showed to which action each hand in a statistic is assigned. So for example, we can see at a glance that most of the overpairs are bad. And only the weaker overpairs are sometimes checked. In the new pure mode, we see how the statistic is subdivided overall into bet and check. If we switch to relative mode, then we see that the ratio of bet versus check is 86% versus 14%. A second new button is the toggle Strategy, EV, Equity. With this button we can see a heat map of which hands have the highest EV and which have the lowest. So apparently sets perform best in this range and ace high performs rather poorly. This is except for the strongest ace high hands. If we mouse over the ace high stat, we see that these strong ace high hands are not flush draws. Now for EV, some of these stats are a bit scrambled. For example, flush draw seems to be a somewhat random mix of green, yellow and orange. If you select sorted, then the hands will be sorted from high EV to low EV. This is less correct, but a lot easier to read. The scale of the heatmap is green for the highest EV and red for the lowest EV. The exact middle is yellow. You can use the scaling button to adjust the scale and set at which point the hand should be displayed as yellow. Finally, in the upper right, we have a suit selection box. So if I select hearts, then only suited hands that are hearts will be displayed in the table matrix and statistics. Let's take a look at a more specific example. Let's say that we want to check all top pairs but we want the better ones with the one card backdoor flush draw. I will lock the decision, select check, and double click top pair to let all top pairs check. Now with the suit box I select all hands of which the highest card is a heart. If I now mouse over top pair, then we can now see exactly which hands have a backdoor one card flush draw which in this case are ace high draws and king high draws. I will right click to fix the statistic. I will select bet and select all hands in the range. If I now turn suit selection off again, then we now see that we are checking all top pairs, except for the backdoor draws, which are bet. Finally, the ability to create custom statistics has been added. For this, click on the Customize icon. Here, we have the list of the current statistics, and here we have a list of operators that we can use. Let's say that we want to create a custom stat that contains only weak made hands, so middle pair or worse. For this, just drag the stats that you want to use into the operator. So, middle pair or weak pair. I'll need some more fields here, so I will add them with the plus icon. Or ace high. Or no mate hand. To now store our custom stat, click on the save icon. Give it a name, trash. And our new custom statistic has now been added under Custom Stats. And if we now leave the menu, I'll switch to Percentage tab. Our custom statistic has now been added at the bottom of the list of statistics. And we see that 70.9% of our hands are middle pair or worse. Let's go back to the menu. And let's now try to create a bit more of an advanced stat, which is the same stat as before, but it also requires that no draws are present. So no flush draws, no 8 out straight draws, no cut shots and no overcards. For this we're going to use this statistic again. I'll just move it to the buffer by clicking on the arrow icon. 
and the operator has now been copied to the buffer. So we want no flush draw. I will drag flush draw into the not operator to create no flush draw. And then drag this entire operator into our AND operator. Let's now add no 8 out straight draw. I will again drag it into the AND operator. And add two more fields. I will add no gut shot. And no overcards. So, this is our no draws operator. I will move it to the buffer by clicking on the arrow icon. And I will now create our operator that's for trash made hands. And no draw. If I now mouse over the new stat, then we see its current composition. So the requirement is middle pair or worse, and no flush draw, and no 8 out straight draw, and no gut shot, and no overcards. I will use the save icon to store the new stat. And if we leave the menu, our new stat has now been added at the bottom of the list. Let's go back to the menu. If you want to change the order of your custom stats, then you can drag and drop them. To disable a stat, right click it. And to delete the stat, use Ctrl plus right click. That's it for the new options in version 153. I hope that you enjoyed this video.